Well, it looks like Rocksteady is finally getting some people laid off. They deserve it. They've ruined DC Comics and the gaming industry. They've released the embarrassing Suicide Squad kill the Justice League when they should have just done another Batman Arkham game. But all the founders and directors left the studio a while back and the Suicide Squad game was just a generic, ugly looter shooter that nobody wants. And now people are finally laid off at the company. Let's look at this article from Inside of Gaming. And it says, Rocksteady faces layoffs at the Suicide Squad kills the Justice League's week sale. It's been reported that Rocksteady has laid off over half of its QA department as part of the studio's restructuring. The report comes from Eurogamer who understands that the QA department has been reduced from 33 to just 15. With the company citing its restructuring for the reason to let people go. Oh, that's not enough. I don't know why they only did 13 to 15. Throw the whole company in the garbage. I don't trust this company anymore. Like I said before, all the good people left the company. They went and made their own companies. Hopefully, they can make a game that has similar gameplay. But as for Rock City itself, it's just nothing but a bunch of DEI, ugly, fat ass, disgusting women that don't play games, that only care about pushing ideas, which is why they worked with baby ink so i don't know why they only removed from the qa department when the whole shit needs to be thrown out i guess you don't need that much quality assurance for a game that has no quality and no player base but let's continue reading according to the outlet those affected go beyond just qa staff too with some now former employees reporting on social media that they have been let go lead recruiter at rocksteady alexander bell took to linkedin to say I suspect I've just joined a very exclusive cohort of people who have been told their role is being eliminated while on paternity leave. Well, if you're the lead recruiter at the company, then you don't deserve your job because clearly you didn't do a good job after all the founders and directors left. So you should have been thrown out a long time ago. This job needs to be given to someone who can actually see what good talent is. Well, let's continue reading. In August of 2024, Warner Brothers reported they had seen a 41% decline in gaming revenue year on year and has said that the company has lost $200 million on Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League. I still can't believe they spend that much money on this garbage. How much did they even spend on Arkham Knight? I have no idea, but I guarantee it was not $200 million. That is fucking insane. What is wrong with these executives? They have no brains. Why would they think that that is a good idea to spend that much on any game? Let alone a goddamn looter shooter, an ugly game, born gameplay, disrespecting all these iconic characters. We want to play as those heroes. We don't want to play as the annoying Harley Quinn and Deadshot and King Shark. Those characters suck. The Suicide Squad sucks. The movie sucks. Those movies are not that popular. I just, I don't understand why they're doing this. Like a bunch of indie developers could have took like 20 million dollars and made a way better game it doesn't even have to be a looter shooter genre that's what's so sad man they, these companies are bloated with a bunch of fucking trainees and, and obese women who don't play games who have no talent smaller teams can do a way better job and they always do a better job that's what the gaming industry is lacking that's what indies need to take over whatever let's just finish this article at the time of writing in 2024 over 11,700 people have been impacted by layoffs in the game gaming industry across at least 130 companies. Rocksteady and Warner Brothers are yet to comment officially on the latest layoffs. 11,700 people is not enough. This whole industry needs to go down for real. Like this is ridiculous. $200 million spent on this garbage. Nobody could have said that, yeah, this game doesn't look that fun. We're not treating these characters with respect. Nobody wants another live service game. There's not enough money to go around to have every fucking company have this obnoxious live service model. Why do they think we're just all fucking rich or something? I don't. I, I don't get it. They, they can't. I can't even speak because they can't do anything original anymore. They can't just come up with their own gameplay, their own graphics, whatever. Every time something becomes popular, you see all these AAA companies spend like four or five plus years copying something that was already popular instead of just making something. Why do you have to wait till something is popular to copy off of it? Just make a good game. You can take inspiration from anything. It could be a game from 20 years ago. But you're quickly trying to milk a game in a content rather than just making a fun game. There is no creativity in this industry anymore. They're just the same copy and paste, buggy, broken, triple A, loot box, microtransaction, greedy fucking slop. And I am tired of it. A lot of people are tired of it. Video games are fucking garbage now.
now. I've been exclusively an indie fan for like five years. I'm not touching no AAA games. I don't give a shit. I'm over this garbage. It's boring. And I don't know why Rocksteady is even still a thing at this point. You are living in a luxury. Any other company that lost $200 million. I can't believe that number is real. $200 million fucking dollars for this trash. This money could have gone into like Batman Beyond or fucking Superman. But anyway, you shouldn't be still a thing. What's the point of keeping you here? What are you going to do next? You're going to try to do another Batman single player game to try to win over the fans? We know that you guys don't have any talent. We don't trust you anymore. I'm never trusting this company ever again. I'm never buying anything from this company ever again. I just don't like you anymore. We don't trust you. We know the type of people who are at this company. We know that Sweet Baby is involved and just going to make everything black and gay. So it is what it is, man. I highly doubt that DC will ever get this shit together. They have no companies to make anything. And they're not even licensing it out their IPs like Marvel does and Marvel has been doing that for a while but they're a bunch of greedy bastards that's why we don't see a lot of superhero games despite the genre being mainstream because the requirements are just absurd like that's why only the biggest and wealthiest companies can make Marvel games it's just so annoying like why are we not getting good superhero content DC needs to do that and offer a cheaper rate than Marvel earlier this year they said they were thinking about doing that but I don't want to hear thoughts I want to hear actions if you want to know more about that i made a video about that go watch that video yeah but they haven't even done that yet so i'm not gonna even get my hopes up oh we're thinking about licensing to other studios it's on our mind you need to hurry the fuck up and do something yesterday you lost 200 million dollars this can't be just on your mind even though i do not like nearly every company in this industry if you license your characters out at least maybe you can get some money by taking a percentage of the profit however you want to do it i don't care i'm just pissed there's no dc content yeah, I prefer DC. I don't care about Marvel like that. 99% of the books I have are DC Comics books. And this is beyond pathetic because you have no good comics, no good movies, no good TV shows, no good games. Your upcoming movie universe looks like shit. Seems like every other week there's a retarded casting or a rumor of a casting that nobody likes. I'm tired of it. I'm annoyed. This shit is retarded. This was dead on arrival before the game even came out. People were shitting on the game. A lot of people are just going to contribute it to Sweet Baby B being a part of it that's very minimal this is such a huge step down from arkham knight that is the biggest failure with this game the gay shit the story the writing i just like uh, i didn't even play the game so it didn't really affect me that much it wasn't really focused on that much is the fact that this is a looter shooter when this company has made the best action games ever downgrading graphics when i consider arkham knight to have the best graphics realistic graphics or graphical fidelity whatever you want to call it in any game ever and this is just a generic looter shooter and we're killing the characters we actually want to play as and playing as the characters we don't like so it's not just a sweet baby thing i believe the sweet baby stuff was very small and minimal compared to all these other things that i just named and i just feel like i'm just gonna keep rambling at this point so i'll just end it off warner brothers rock said just go fuck yourself already